Coming up on 5-Minute News. Social Democrats beat Conservatives in German vote to decide Merkel's successor. UK gas stations run dry as truck driver shortage causes chaos. And Nancy Pelosi vows to pass $1 trillion infrastructure bill. It's Monday, September 27. I'm Anthony Davis. The Social Democrat Party in Germany narrowly won Sunday's national election, projected results showed, and claimed a clear mandate to lead a government for the first time since 2005 and to end 16 years of conservative-led rule under Angela Merkel. The centre-left Social Democrats were on track for 26% of the vote, ahead of 24.5% for Merkel's CDU-CSU Conservative bloc, but both groups believed they could lead the next government. With neither major bloc commanding a majority, and both reluctant to repeat their awkward grand coalition of the past four years, the most likely outcome is a three-way alliance led by either the Social Democrats or Merkel's Conservatives. Agreeing a new coalition could take months and will likely involve the smaller Greens and Liberal Free Democrats. We are ahead in all the surveys now, the Social Democrats Chancellor candidate Olaf Scholz said in a roundtable discussion with other candidates after the vote. The SPD's rise heralds a swing left for Germany and marks a remarkable comeback for the party, which has recovered some 10 points in support in just three months to improve on its 20.5% result in the 2017 national election. Schultz's conservative rival, Armin Laschet, signalled his bloc was not ready yet to concede, though his supporters were subdued. It hasn't always been the first-place party that provided the Chancellor, Laschet told the Round Table. I want a government where every partner is involved, where everyone is visible not one where only the Chancellor gets to shine, he said, in an early attempt to woo smaller parties. Attention will now shift to informal discussions, followed by more formal coalition negotiations, which could take months, leaving Angela Merkel in charge in a caretaker role. Thousands of British gas stations ran dry on Sunday as motorists scrambled to fill up amid a supply disruption due to a shortage of truck drivers. The Petrol Retailers Association, which represents almost 5,500 independent outlets, said about two-thirds of its members were reporting that they had sold out of their fuel, with the rest partly dry and running out soon. Associate Chairman Brian Madison said the shortages were the result of panic buying, pure and simple. There is plenty of fuel in this country, but it's in the wrong place for the motorists, he said. It's still in the terminals and the refineries. Long lines of vehicles formed at many gas stations over the weekend, and tempers frayed as some drivers waited for hours. The haulage industry says the UK is short of tens of thousands of truckers due to a perfect storm of factors including the coronavirus pandemic, an ageing workforce and an exodus of foreign workers following Britain's Brexit departure from the European Union last year. Several countries, including the United States and Germany, also are experiencing a shortage of truck drivers. The problem has been especially visible in Britain, where it's contributed to empty supermarket shelves and shuttered gas pumps. After weeks of mounting pressure, the UK's Conservative government announced on Saturday that it will issue thousands of emergency visas to foreign truck drivers to help prevent a Christmas without turkey or toys for many British families. The government said it would issue 5,000 three-month visas for truck drivers starting in October and another 5,500 for poultry workers. The government is also considering drafting the army to assist with the distribution of gas. Industry groups welcomed the new visa plan, although the British Retail Consortium said it was too little, too late. With President Joe Biden's broad domestic agenda at risk of collapse, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Sunday vowed that Democrats will pass a bipartisan infrastructure bill this week and push ahead on the bigger $3.5 trillion social safety net and climate change bill, while acknowledging the total amount will drop. 
Biden spoke with lawmakers over the weekend on the path forward, according to a White House official. Extensive work was being done behind the scenes to shore up support. When asked on Sunday if Pelosi had the votes to pass the $1 trillion infrastructure bill, Biden told reporters at the White House it's going to take the better part of this week. Pelosi had originally pledged to House moderates a vote on the infrastructure legislation by today, but she said on Sunday in a letter to colleagues that the vote will now be Thursday. With Democratic divisions, the extra time allowed space for negotiations on the broader bill, so both bills could advance. Still, in a delicate balancing act aimed at achieving the near-democratic unanimity needed to push the sprawling package through, Pelosi made clear that Biden's proposed $3.5 trillion for social spending and climate initiatives will need to be trimmed. Senators Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Kirsten Sinema of Arizona have said they won't support a bill of that size. Manchin has previously proposed spending $1 to $1.5 trillion, an amount that progressives have called unacceptable for a bill they originally envisaged at $6 trillion. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.